Right, so in the previous video we learned how to control the sprite ourselves using uh, the keys on our keyboard. Now we're going to show you how to uh, make the sprite move by itself. There's a few examples we're going to go through. First we're going to create a boat. So go and find the sailboat. Okay. Click on that and you see it's a bit big. Okay, so we want to put some code in when the green flag is clicked. We're going to set his size to a little bit smaller. We'll set him to 30%. And see that that will show you the size now if you were to position him position the sprite where you want him to start and then go to the motion tab where it says go to and that will be exactly where he is right now which is a useful little tip for you and then what we're going to do is going to create a forever loop so all the time the green flag is clicked uh, is is uh, is on uh, it's going to run this bit of code inside this uh, forever loop here. What we're going to do is we're just going to move him. We'll maybe move, move him two steps because he's not going to have any time limit on here. You can get it so he moves 10 steps and waits one second and then starts again. But in this one, in this instance, we're just going to get him to move two steps and we're going to if on edge bounce. Right, so you should see the boat goes to the end and should turn around and come back the other way. Ah, does this again? We know how to fix this, don't we? Go to direction and puts this, click this button here so he doesn't flip over. And he should go to the end and then. Yep, yeah, that's fine, fine. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, we're going to do a parrot. So we're going to create a new parrot. We go to where is it? There it is, parrot. Again, okay. quite big. So we're going to make sure when the green flag is clicked, we're going to set his size to twenty percent. Okay, and you can move anywhere really. And this parrot is going to move around the whole screen. So whereas the first one we did, we had it in a straight line. The boat has got a restricted sort of area, but in this instance, it's going to move him back and forth. Okay, this one is going to go anywhere on the screen because the parrot it can go anywhere it likes. Okay, so we go to forever loop, and what we're going to do is we're going to point him in direction. Okay, so we're going to click on this point in direction and we're going to choose a random number. So what we want to do is pick a number and what we're going to do is the whole range, bear in mind with the directions now, it is minus 179 to positive 180. So we're going to get the, go to the operators tab here pick random and click on minus 179 to 180. What we're going to do next, we're going to repeat. So we're going to repeat 40 times whatever is in this code here. Because otherwise, if you, if you don't do this, if we're going to say move five steps, we'll show you what it does without the repeat. And he sort of does that. Now we're going to need to move him and make sure he's select to only face left and right. And it's a bit weird. Okay. So what we do is we put the, the uh, repeat loop in here and we're going to move him a five steps. We're going to get him to ne go next costume, which looks a little better. Looks like he's flapping his wings. And then if on edge bounce. Okay. So now. He will go around looking like that, and it looks a little bit more like a parrot. So he was, he is going, he's picking a random direction between minus 179 and 180, 
and in this loop it's repeated 40 times which he moves five steps and, and changes his costume at a time and it will bounce off the edge okay so those that's the the two sprites created so far the third one we're going to go through um, how to, how gliding works uh, whereas this one here uses the moving five steps it's actually moving a number of steps the next sprite we're going to use is a balloon so if we just go find the balloon there we go and we're going to just delete the blue and the purple ones just so the, pur the yellow one stands out a bit more and we are going to when green flag clicked very easy we're gonna set his size to 40 percent okay and then what the balloon's gonna go do it's gonna glide to any random position and it's a delightful bit of code okay you just have to click on the forever loop here so it'll also always do that and then literally click on the go to so glide to glide number of seconds to random position we're going to do one second here so keep an eye on the balloon in fact let's uh, turn off the, the parrot so we're not distracted in the sailboat and there you go the balloon is gliding one second to a random position and of course you can change this to say two seconds and he will obviously move a lot slower is moving to a random position anywhere on the board and hopefully that has helped you understand a bit more on how to uh, make sprites move in an automatic way